Hello everyone, and welcome to this introduction to neutral items in Dota 2. Introduced in patch 7.23, neutral items add a new dimension to the game. In this video, I will explain how and when they can be found, how they are used and shared, and demonstrate some of their abilities. Neutral items cannot be bought or sold in any of the game's shops, but are instead collected from neutral creeps in the jungle. These items become available to collect at different points throughout the game and are grouped into five tiers of increasing power. Each team can discover up to four random neutral items from each tier when killing neutral creeps, with triple the drop chance when killing ancients. No neutral items can be found until seven minutes into the game when tier one items are unlocked. Tiers two, three, and four are each 10 minutes after the last, and the powerful tier five items are only found after 60 minutes. Unlike other items, neutral items cannot be held in the hero's main inventory. Instead, each hero has a dedicated slot for one neutral item. Any neutral items collected beyond the first are held in the hero's backpack. You can right-click any spare neutral items to transport them back to the stash. From here, any member of your team can access them. The neutral tab in the shop will show you the status of your team's neutral items, including which items have been found, which tiers have been unlocked, and who is holding each item. Any items shown in colour are available in the neutral stash to be collected. Right-clicking an item will move it into your stash, or onto your hero or courier if they are in range. Neutral items cannot drop if there is an enemy hero within a range of 600. However, drop neutral items can be stolen by enemy players. Many neutral items only grant your hero stats or passive effects, however some have activated abilities. In this section, I'll give you a short rundown on each of these. Arcane Ring can be activated to restore mana to your hero and nearby allies. Iron Talon deals 50% of an enemy creep's current health as damage. On a much shorter cooldown, it can also cut down trees. Ironwood Tree can be used to plant a tree at a target location, which lasts for 20 seconds. Like Iron Branch, these trees double the healing duration if eaten with a Tango. Mango Tree is a consumable item with one charge. It plants a Mango Tree at the target location, which drops three mangoes on cast and another every 60 seconds. This tree provides a small amount of flying vision for the team who planted it, However, the mangoes can be collected by either team. The tree can be cut down by any effect that would destroy a normal tree. Royal Jelly is a consumable item with two charges. It grants a permanent buff to yourself or an allied hero, providing increased mana and health regen. Trusty Shovel digs for one second, uncovering either a bounty room, a healing salve, a town porter scroll, or a neutral cobalt creep. The same treasure can't be found twice in a row. Clumsy Net launches a net at an enemy, rooting them for 1.75 seconds on impact. When the net is thrown, the caster is also rooted in place for the same duration. Essence Ring acts like a reverse soul ring. It increases your current and maximum health by 425 for 15 seconds, after which the max health buff is lost. The healing is kept after the buff ends. Ring of Aquila grants a mana regen and armor aura. Activate it to toggle the aura between all allies and allied heroes only. Vambrace grants passive stats and can be switched between Strength, Intelligence, and Agility to change the bonus it gives. Greater Fairy Fire gives a bonus to attack damage, and has three charges of a 450 health heal. When all three charges are used, the item is consumed, and the attack damage is also lost. Repair Kit is a consumable item with three charges. Targets an ally building to heal it for 40% of its health over 30 seconds. 
the building gains a 10 armor bonus for this period. Activating spider legs grants increased movement speed and gives the user free parthing for 3 seconds, allowing them to walk through units and over terrain. Whilst scurrying, any trees the user comes into contact with are destroyed. Flicker applies a basic dispel to the user and teleports them to a random location within a small area. Note that this dispel happens after the teleport effect, so a rooted or leash unit cannot activate Flicker. Havoc Hammer knocks back, slows and deals damage to all enemy units around the user. The damage is based off of the user's strength. Illusionist's Cape creates an illusion of the user, as well as passively increasing the damage of all illusions and units under the player's control. Whilst Magic Lamp has no activated abilities, its passive ability Rejuvenate heals the user for 300 and applies a strong dispel when the wielder goes below 20% health. This effect has a 60 second cooldown. Minotaur Horn grants the user magic immunity for 2 seconds. Ninja Gear grants the user the Smoke of Deceit buff, increasing movement speed and allowing them to travel invisibly without being detected by true sight, such as sentry wards. Like Smoke, when the user moves too close to an enemy hero or tower, the buff will be lost. Book of the Dead summons 4 level 3 Necronomicon demons which have 50% more health and damage than their standard counterparts. Additionally, they last for 75 seconds, 15 seconds longer than Necronomicon. Ex Machina can be activated to refresh all of the user's item cooldowns, except for Refresher Orb and Town Portal Scroll. Fallen Sky acts as a combined Blink Dagger and Meteor Hammer. After a short delay, you plummet to the ground at the target location stunning and dealing damage to all enemies and buildings at the crash site. Like Blink Dagger, any damage from enemy players or Roshan will put Fallen Sky on a 3 second cooldown. Force Boots pushes the user in the direction they're facing, and also applies a basic dispel. Additionally, Force Boots passively unlocks the movement speed limit, allowing the wielder to go above the usual 550 movement speed cap. Similarly, Woodland Striders also unlocks maximum movement speed, however it also grants the user the passive ability to walk through trees. When activated, Woodland Striders produces a path of trees wherever the user walks. These trees last for 15 seconds. Finally, Trident Recipe is the only item that does not grant the user any stats or abilities. Instead, this recipe allows the user to combine together Sun, Yasha and Kaya into a single, more powerful item. The item is held in the neutral slot, so it grants the user the biggest individual stat boost in the game without using a main inventory slot. Whilst this intro has given a flavour of the power of neutral items, there are plenty more to explore and powerful combinations with different heroes to try. If you found this video helpful, Please support the channel with a like, a share and subscribe. Leave me a comment below if you have any thoughts or any ideas for future videos. Your foes will fear you now.